presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to master, reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about action. It is not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 213. You get the NASDAQ up 32. S&P's off three and a half. Gold, gold contract down $20, trading at 2,185 an ounce. We have silver down 16 cents, $24.84 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 37 cents. $80.70 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note. Trading up 10 ticks, 110.23. The 30 year up 24 at 119.24 in King Dollar. King Dollar's got some juice the last couple days out here, folks. You're up 469 ticks, trading 104.473. Euro is at 108. Yen is at 151. British pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. If it's called, folks, I know what's going on in y'all world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Because where we're going to go here, folks, we're going to go right to the weeklies to see about this ABC structure. So we're going to get 40 million shares, and we're at 33. And that's all we needed for an ABC structure up on a weekly basis. <laughs> so this is going to be wild watching this shake out here. Let me do this. I'm going to bring it closer so you can see this ABC. And so here's... And we're taking it right from there. A to B. And your B point here, 336 million. Price point is 51922. 312. 336. Well, it's going to be close call. We'll see how this shakes out, but I suspect, yeah, it's only 3 o'clock. We're going to get it. That's going to be an ABC up, and it's a big one, man. So your B point on this is, uh, what, 518? Your A point is the uh, 466. So you got, what, 34, 44, 52. C, yeah, you get 556. Call it 560, Dan. That's right. 556, well, 522. So this is pretty intense, man. <laughs> I mean, what, what you could have C is this. So picture, and let me bring this up again. I mean, because you can see, one of the things that when you look at an A to B equals C to D, folks, okay, you're looking at straight line moves. And there's nothing straighter than what we've just seen. You know, because so there's two different trends. You get the bigger trend. Now, that's, this is the monster trend. And then that is not the trend, though, we're doing the ABC on. The one we're doing the ABC on, because we came down one week, it went higher down one week, we're doing it on the red line. You know, but if I take this, now watch this. If I take this on the monthly, it's probably a monthly ABC here, too. 
Okay, so on a monthly, one second, I think 1.2. Yeah, so here you go, man. This is even bigger. I think it's bigger. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, so here's the monthly ABC. 458, let's call it 460. And 350. My God, that's 110 points. That gives you five. Oh, I see. That gives you 519. I see. So we just finished. Let me do this again. We just, we're finishing up a monthly ABC. Five, four, no, 484. Oh, let's say it. 459.44. So call it 460. Is B. 350. That's 100.8 A to B. Which gets you at 509. Yeah. So we're, we're extended, that's for sure. The Q's. Let's go take a look at the Q's, see what we have with the Q's. Let's see if this is on a weekly, too. So first I'll put this on a weekly. No, it's not going to be an ABC up. It's, it's, this is going after its highs, let's see, 255 million. Yeah, we're not going to do 60 million coming into the close. Bottom line, you get higher price. Now, let's take a look at some of the, the ones that are getting smoked out here. You get Nike. Nike came down hard and fast. They came out with numbers yesterday. It just didn't work. Nike's trading down eight and a half dollars. We put this back. This is going to go after a high volume low right there. Whoops. This has a high volume low at the bottom of its consolidation, which is 82 bucks and you're at 94. And then Lululemon, you talk about waking up, getting down 15% ASAP. So this came down high. This is down $73 trading 405. And right there. Well, this doesn't have that much more to go. This has uh, 353. And right now, you're at 405. Some of the other higher volume equities that we have out here today, you have, uh, let's see. Oh, NVIDIA. we got to go to NVIDIA. NVDA, that's up $22. This is just a nonstop deal. It's getting close to its highs again, I think. Yeah, okay, so this is trying to test its highs again because that's a high volume high. See, NVIDIA has a high volume high, folks, at 974. That is a high volume high, which bottom line is that's going to get tested. So we'll see how it gets tested, number one, and um, go from there. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up, down rather, 253. NASDAQ up 20. S&P's off 6.5. We'll come right back. spent any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly unfortunately there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market this is what sets teddy kekstack's the tiger forex report off the riffraff Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. 
But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 270. You got the Nasdaq uh, up 13. S&P's a flat. Let's go to our man Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. I thought I'd keep the conversation light and airy. It's, it is Friday, after all. That's a beautiful day. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, Junior yesterday was talking about Garden Corporation and some of the restaurants he visited. Uh, I like hearing these anecdotal stories. It keeps the show interesting. And what he liked and didn't like. But I guess he's in Lakeland. I forgot to mention Ling's Buffet, Chinese Buffet Restaurant, South Florida Ave in Lakeland. Ling's Buffet. Oh, good. Fantastic. No, I was listening to that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Um, I, 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 I picked up my 28-year-old daughter and I said, Christmas Day. It's a little past that, obviously. but And I said, let's go. Let's get some brunch there. No way sitting there, eating away. And she pulls out her iPhone and says, I had some haggis. I said, Haggis? I said, she must have went with her mother to Disney Walk to some international restaurant. Yeah. And then she and then she flips the phone pictures through and she's showing me museums in Scotland. I said, Are you telling me you got on a plane by yourself and didn't tell your dad that you went to Scotland? I love it. She goes, Yep. That's go, independence, Jose. Oh there. my God. Yep. I could sit there and eat and be mad or tell her to go get me some Rangoon. Well, just think, you were going down to Kelly's at Revere Beach, man, not telling your mother, and she's going to Scotland, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, look, and I said to her, when she got back to the table, I said, look, I could be mad, but your last name is Reynolds. So you got to have a little Scottish in you anyway. So. I love it. I love it. I said, why didn't you go to Cuba? Your mother's from Cuba. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be really unbelievable. But, um, hey, Tom, are you worried about the inventory? Uh, I don't trust Case Schiller and all these realtors who want to pump things up with the market, even though it's not well right now. Is there an inventory explosion? Because I'm, I'm hearing and reading that there is. Is it legitimate or is it just pockets of Florida? I'd say it's just pockets because, yeah, check this out. And this is pretty intense, folks, okay, in a good way. So the, the houses that I sell, right, you know, and I slow down when the um, interest rates start going up. I just didn't. Normally I do like five houses a year. And what I did is that as soon as those rates were going up, I said, man, I got to back off. So I did three, okay? Make a long story short, bottom line, they sold at 1.1 million, okay, which is insane. I mean, not insane, but that's strong, right? 
But what has happened, now this isn't St. Pete, folks, okay? So I don't, you know, uh, but I think it's an indication of what's actually going on. I just got offered two days ago, the, what has happened is this, I build these singles, right? But now I'm building also small apartments selling as condos, okay? Uh -huh. Yes. And this is on First Avenue South and St. Pete, folks. And that, that's downtown. It's the only land that's left, okay? So I have it. But let me tell you something. I just got my mind blown two days ago. Cold call from a monster company that offered me almost, not double, but <laughs> about 40% more than I thought they were actually worth. So I think the, the break has is happening you follow me like the big money right now right is knowing that the break in the interest rate structure is happening and they're coming in first because what happens is this with, with land folks what happens is that this is land that yeah, i can build units on that, that i've owned for a long time so what happens is that like when the interest rate well, pitch it three years ago in the frenzy it was worth let's just say it's worth every spot's worth 100 grand well when the real estate goes up, the last thing you want to own is land because all you do is pay taxes on it and have to take care of it. So realistically, that 100000 probably went down to 60000 It's that dramatic, too, by the way, okay, because no one wants to buy land when rates are going up. So now what has happened oh. is that it went from sixty to like $150,000. Like, so that's telling me that I knew we were on the other side of the cycle, but now what's happening is that and, and what happens in Florida, folks, is that we're in Pinellas County is the most dense county in Florida, so there's no more land. But you get the gist. To make a long story short, um, to answer your question, I think we're on the game again, you know, because it's like, okay, this is big money that knows what they're doing. They build huge apartment buildings. Um, and that wasn't okay. even a negotiation. I'm not going to sell it either. <laughs> there's going to be more negotiation. But the bottom line is that the first bid was like, oh, my God, okay, game is on again. So I think... It, and what Jose's talking about, and this is happening, folks, okay, is that the folks that even have had the 35 or 4% mortgages, they're starting to put their houses on the market again. Right. And there is more inventory again. And, right. there, de and there definitely is price reductions, you know? So, okay, so, so you're, you're going to have price destruction coming because someone's going to jump out of a 3 or 4% mortgage and go after a 5 or 6. You're going to have a ton of inventory. You, you, you've had 8 or 10 years of, of a depletion of inventory of homes on the market. And, and, it, and I think it really depends on where we're talking to. I mean, this, you okay. know, if, you, if you're in, it's like anything else. When you're in, if it's higher quality real estate, it's going to stay up more than, you know, something okay. away from a downtown area or that the turnover is happening. But my, my take is that we're on the other side of that. So we might see that for another couple months because there's definitely mm -hmm. on the MLS, you see it every morning that how many re price reductions there actually are. You know, so. Oh, okay, but the bottom line, Tom, is price destruction is coming. You're not going to see 2021 again for a long time. Price destruction is coming by the mere fact that we're going to get a gauntlet of homes hitting the market. There's no two ways about it. Whether rates are at five, five and a half, or six. But if you're at five and a half percent, I don't see the the price destruction coming. I see because it's more buyers. Because yeah, there's more right. buyers to, to 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 pick up the slack. Right, but we have price destruction okay. right now. Right now, there's price destruction. I mean, all those houses that are out there right now, I see it every day. Let's say house is five, five fifty. Okay. They, they're having a hard time moving them because it's right in the middle. And then, you know, anything under three or 350 around here is gone in like a day. When you get to five or six, it's tough. And then it gets actually easier when you're eight, nine, or one million. That, that's, it, it's the middle that is getting hurt the most right now. That's what I see anyway. Oh, I, I, have, I have a house that has been out there for 595000 and I'm doing a three, two, one buy down, folks. Okay, so that cost me twenty five thousand for the three, two, one buy down. It's been out there for forty five days, and I've got plenty of people looking at, it, but no one wants to buy it. But that's because that space there is no good. That space is that they don't have enough. The the, the three or four hundred is easy to buy. 
the 550 to 6 is harder, and then the million is easier. I mean, that's kind of how the market's set up right now. So, Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you were doing more than three to five houses a year. but uh, So the person that owed, offered you double in St. Pete, I know there's nothing down there in the way of land. Are you talking about a structure or just the land? Just the land. I got you. Nice deal. Yeah. Mom, I'm going to get some Rangoon. That's a beautiful thing, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We get the Dow Industrials down 255. Nasdaq's up 17. S&Ps are up 6.5. We're coming right back, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of Basil's educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industries down 254. NASDAQ is up 22. S&Ps are up 5.5. Let's go take a look at Live Nation for a couple of the uh, tigers out here. So let's see. That's LYU. So Live Nation, folks, is the concert venue, the um, ticket venue, Live Nation Entertainment. Let's take a look here. So the low for the year, 
is 64. The high is 107. That's today. Next time they come out with numbers is uh, May 3rd. They're going to be looking for, hmm, boy, they, 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 these numbers really fluctuate big. $3.3 billion and then losing 18 cents. When last quarter they did $5.8 billion, and they still lost money. Damn. Okay, I'm not quite sure how, why this should be so high, but uh, bottom line, we'll take a look at this. I'm going to put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, so... Turn it to a monthly. If you long this thing, you got to be careful, that's for sure. So, when we put this into a monthly, you come in... Yeah, you're coming right into some heavy resistance. See, that's all resistance right there. You know, I just put a really tight stop if you own this right now. You know, I'd put a stop, you're at 105, put a stop somewhere, you know, 96 or something, depending on how long you own it, right under, right under this whole bar for the month. That's what I do. Because you, you get six months of highs that you're going to go into resistance for right now. So that's not going to be, you know... There's going to be some resistance. Uh, the weed stock. So look at this. Check this out. Uh, CGC Canopy. What this is all about. Th this has been like a disaster. Canopy's up $2.75 today at 7.30. Now, if you take a look at this from highs to lows, this is pretty intense, man. We've gone from... $592, you heard that correct, $592 in 2018, down to $3.40. Now, what we did do, this right now, he, this was so weird about this, man. I was looking at the stock yesterday, and the reason I was looking at it yesterday, before this, is that there's a little spike up to $19, and I was looking at it, and was trading for him, saying to myself, and I can see the volume expanding. So the volume has been expanding pretty dramatically, folks. Bottom line is that what this is all about is that Germany has just legalized uh, pot. So the way it works out here, let's just see what it says. Um, that Germany parliament early Friday said cannabis possession and home cultivation will be decriminalized this April 1st. Uh, and will be officially recognized as a non-narcotic. The new law allows adults over 18 to possess 25 grams of cannabis in public and store up to 50 grams at home for personal consumption, as well as it also legalizes possession of three live cannabis plants at home, allowing users to grow their own flowers. So bottom line is that they got, that definitely got the weed stocks going out here today. And we'll see where it shakes out. That whole thing, you know, we, you still have a commodity, and what you still have there is the aspect of um, people can grow their own, you know? So <clears throat> that is just wild. Now, this one is really wild. <coughs> let me get this because this is, let me find this thing. What's the digital? This is Trump's company. Uh, the, the one that's going to, I want to show you something here, though. This is like unbelievable, actually, that it's worth so much money. Okay, it's digital. D-I-G. Someone in the den, will you tell me what the name of that company is? It's Digital World. I think Digital World. Because when you, when you see this, you're not going to... This is... I got it. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Dan. WDAC. Okay, so check this out, folks. Now, th this, is, this is why the, the... This is why people love to go public, okay? So Digital World Acquisition is trading at $38.00. And 31 cents down four dollars and fifty cents. Okay, now these are the SPOC. So all the SPOCs are really worth only ten dollars to start with. Okay, but now listen to this. This is unbelievable, actually. Uh, so Digital World shares. Well, this is a gave up gains, but uh, let's see. That's not the article I want. The bottom line is that this deal looks like it's going to get done. Meaning that the SPAC is actually going to buy Trump's media empire, which is Truth Social, right? 
and all the hype is about how much money that the folks are going to make that own some of these shares, okay? You got Devin Nunes, uh, the California representative from Congress. He became the CEO of Trump Media. He's going to pick up $4.9 million. You got Eric Swinza, Trump Media CFO, going to pick up $7.7 oh, and $21 million. Now, Trump himself, if this thing flies, is going to, you're talking about like $3.5 billion, okay? $3.5 billion to $4 billion. Now, check this out. This is, this is the total mind blower, folks. Okay, so I want everyone to think, what do you think they're gross? So we're talking billions of dollars that's going to have a market cap here, right? What do you think that their gross sales is the last year? This is the total mind blower of this whole thing. The total gross sales is only 3.5 million. <laughs> yeah, you heard that right. So this is going to be one of the biggest anomalies that I've seen in a long time. Because if, in fact, this actually gets out and it's still trading, because this, this is a cult stock, you know what I mean? This is like a meme stock, a Reddit stock, the whole ball of wax. You know, folks just buy it, not understanding fundamentals. Um, but 3.5 million, man. <laughs> I mean, give me a break, okay? You know, <laughs> that is just a total mind blower. Um, but the bottom line is that, you know, if that thing flies, and then, so the way it's going to work is that the insiders can't cash out for six months. But I've seen this many times, meaning that when you have a equity that is mispriced, it can stay mispriced for a lot longer than six months, man. So they just might basically get that paper out to the public uh, and go from there. What is interesting, I was, I was trying to pull this up to find out whether you actually could place a caller on the amount of shares that you actually would be getting. So what a caller is, folks, inside the option market, and I'm just not sure whether you can do that to restrictive stock, because then that would basically tell you, it's like an insurance policy, that you would be able to basically get a price going out six months. But I haven't found that out yet. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets.
TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 263. You get the NASDAQ up 29. S&P's off 5.5. Uh, what is unusual, folks, okay, is that uh, you, know, you don't see this happen a lot in Russia. Uh, but the bottom line is that there was a... Uh, where is this article? So... They just, unfortunately, 40 people are dead, and there's a bunch of people that are hurt with the three gunmen that went in a music hall over in uh, Moscow today. You just don't see that happen in Russia, but uh, bottom line, that, that just happened. So I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more news on that and see where that is coming from. But those poor people just... You go to a concert, and all of a sudden, that's it. That's all she wrote. AAP. Let's see what AAP is all about. AAP. Is that advanced auto parts? Yes. So you get advanced auto parts. The low's 47. The high's 129. Next time they come out with numbers is the 31st of May. Numbers go like this. 3.4 billion they're looking for with 79 cents to the bottom line. Hmm. This is, this is going to be really interesting bringing this up because they got that next quarter they have an expansion of gross dollars oh look a straight line move up oh boy and so the tag is looking for a place to buy it so oh look at this it's got smoked wow huh look at this thing okay so this has gone from 246, unbelievable. 246 in the middle of 2021, down to 47. Man, let me get this closer. Because advanced auto parts is not going away, folks. <laughs> That's for sure. They've got smoked, but well, let's see. So you get a small ABC up. Let's see what that number was. That number was. Uh, I'm just going to ballpark at 70 to 49. That gets you 80. So I just finished an ABC up. Eighty-one. Well, if you're looking for the buy, the buy is about 81. And right now at 85. I don't see this pulling back that much. And I see on the what happens on the daily. I can see, you know, you can get some destruction. But see that high volume high right there? That's 81 too. And went higher than that with contractions. And then you get a gap that's laying out at 76. So 76 to 81 is the number on this. And then you take, let's just see. Okay, so that's. The 76 area as I guess where I'd go, because that's a 50% retracement of the move. Let's, yeah, that would be prudent, meaning conservative. Uh, if we look at Vista Gold, a couple Tigers want to look at that and say, okay, should we add here? Um, the thing with Vista is this, it's highly volatile, and you, and you can see, see what happened yesterday? This, I've, I've told this to Fred a million times, the, the market maker on Vista is just vicious, man. Vista went from 57 yesterday down to 45, okay? And I was watching the trades come through, 
And what you have to do with Vista is this, folks, okay, is that when bids are coming into it, you have to sell into bids because whoever the market maker on this, as soon as he knows that there's anything out there, bang, they, they jam it. And you can see yesterday they jammed it in a big way. Now let me answer you the question, though, about adding. So we just went from 30 cents to basically 55. There's the high volume high of yesterday is going to get tested. That's 57. My take is that right now, this is on the way to 75 cents, and I'll show you why. That's your swing point. I mean, it's, there's the swing point of 75 cents. So you just got to figure out, okay, is that worth it for me? You know, 25 cents? Because you know, in this particular case, uh, you've already owned Vista for a while. You know how it trades. Um, I take it's a good trade. You know, that's what it really comes down to. Because if we stair step it, 75 cents is the next move. And then I think it's 145 and 210. Is that 145? Yeah, there's 145 and here's 210. That's going to be kind of like how this thing moves. And if we take a look at this, you're going to see, you know, you haven't come up to the breaking the downtrend from 210, what you have done, though, is you've broken the downtrend from 140, 140. So you're at 50. That red line there, if you're watching Tiger TV, that's a break with conviction. You get wide price spread. You get expanded volume. That's going to be a staircase on the way up. And then if I bring this back further, what you're going to see is we get up to this level of the 140. Actually, not the 140. You get to the level of 106. And I suspect what you have here is this. So watch this. This is, I'm just going to put this down here to show you what I think is going to happen here. So I think we're going to come up to here. I'm going to go this way again, put it out there. And then see this area in here? Right here, you put this across. That green line, whoops. There we go. So that green line there, I think this is a small, it's going to be a big head because this is a five-month head. Here's your shoulders. The real question is, is that are we going to get up to this 75 cents and then have to go sideways for another 12 months? <laughs> okay, you know, that's, that's, that's the bottom line. Um, we'll see. But my take is that that's where it's going. So if you have time on your side, man, to me, that's one of the best trades out there. But I own it. I have owned it. I've followed them for a long time. You know, what ends up happening with these small goals, folks, okay, you can, you know, do five, ten times your bread. But the bottom line is that, number one, you have to understand how much you buy so you don't go over your head. And number two, you need... A long runway. That's because we have with Vista right now. As soon as uh, wheat minerals came in, with they actually give them that that equity money, with the aspect that they are getting money off the stream. That said quite a bit because what ended up happening is that the stream is still a couple of years away. So you have a company that knows what they're doing. They come in, they finance so that the mine can actually get bigger and they have first dibs on it because that's how stream is worked. They, they, they're like banks, okay? And banks don't come in and give you money unless they think they can get it back out the other side. And that's the same with wheat and precious metals. They gave them 20 million. Bottom line is that they have no debt. They're going to use that in order to basically do more drilling because the, the more drilling that you do in the ore, folks, the higher the probability that you're going to find more veins, the higher the probability that you're going to basically have more ore, which correlates to more earnings. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Let's go take a look at Apple, because Apple, you know, has had a lot of top line news, folks, and none of it's been good. Uh, this one out here today, Apple's trading up $1.15, but... Uh, Apple, first it was, they got rid of thinking about doing their car. Now what's happening is that they're winding down effort to make watch displays. So if you remember, the, the big deal about, uh, I think it was, it was Fitbit, uh, whoever owns the patent of this uh, red blood cell deal, uh, they had to stop doing that and now they're going to have to basically, it looks to me like they're going to start subbing things out, meaning that they're going to have to make deals with these other sophisticated, I mean, Apple's sophisticated, but there's more sophisticated companies out there because it's showing that they can't get it, get it done. Um, and they're going to have to go outside to get it done. The cost and complexity of the effort ultimately proved too great, so Apple is now reorganizing the teams that handle display engineering and eliminating several dozen roles in the U.S. and Asia. Uh, said people asked not to be identified. The move to shutter the project came around the same time as the company's decision to cancel work on the self-driving car. In both cases, Apple has given at least some affected employees the opportunity to find other roles. Th those are two big deals that, uh, you know, I can see the, the car that, you know, you're... The, the Chinese folks, okay, the bottom line is that they're going to be taking over the uh, electric car market, okay? It's just, it's like, they're not even close. It just depends on what is the TAF going to be coming into the country because you can see the, uh, on the smaller end, 
They're selling electric cars somewhere in the 11,000 range. $11,000, that is, by the way. Okay. So if we go to Tesla, I mean, it's just a matter of when this thing just keeps dropping. And it has been dropping and it will drop because the bottom line is that you can't compete with something like that. You know, Tesla's at 170 right now. And yeah, you get a forward PE of 56. I mean, are you kidding me? You're paying $56 for a dollar of earnings. And then when you pull this up, this is going after a high volume high, I think from March of 2020. Yeah, it is. There it is right there. So this is going after 101. And right now we're at 170. And that's just going to be a broken market. 